Hallo da. Hi Wanderers! Welcome back to my channel. This vlog is all about bustling shopping places in Japan. Today, we'll be exploring the shopping street and checking out some of the best stores and attractions that this place has to offer. On our previous vlog, we explored the busy district of Shibuya, and today, we will go and find the hidden gems of this area. Located in Suginami Ward of Tokyo, Kuenji is a vibrant neighborhood known for its lively atmosphere and unique shop. The shopping street is a popular destination for tourists, but it is also attracts many locals who come to enjoy the retro vibe and the independent stores. Kuenji Street is one of the largest in Tokyo, spanning over 2 kilometers with more than 200 shops. I highly suggest going here in the afternoon since the local shops here are open around 1 to 2 p.m. The shopping street is known for its alternative and subculture vibe. Don't miss out on many trip stores as well, where you can snag some great deals on second-hand clothes and accessories. The shopping district is mecca for tourists, but it also draws a young, trend-conscious local crowd. It is often preferred to as the Harajuku of the West. You'll find everything from funky retro outfit to modern streetwear here. The best thing about the shop here is the cheap but high quality clothing. NG Pal, a covered mall on Koenji Street, is an excellent spot to shop in the lively ambient of Tokyo Retro Moon, and it is frequently visited with residents as well as the tourists. ABC Mart is a popular footwear retail in Japan and it has several stores across country, including here in Kuenji. The company specializes in selling shoes from a variety of popular brands including Nike, Adidas, Converse, New Balance, and other. And the company also extended internationally with stores in South Korea, Taiwan, and United States of America. Be 
Big Time is a popular chain of thrift stores in Japan that sells a wide variety of used clothes, accessory, and other goods at affordable prices. This next shop, called Atlantis, are known for pre-loved luxury items. Among the luxury labels they stock are Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Prada. And I think it's essential that everybody visiting Pall Mall go to this particular shop. There are many stores in Koenji, but this one is for me. Because I enjoy wearing large and baggy clothes, I highly recommend checking this store called Focus. I am one of those satisfied customers who will return the next time I visit this area. A short walk will take you to the next store known as Second Street. It is a popular chain of second-hand clothing stores in Japan. With locations throughout the country, there were over 400 second store in Japan. The latest apparel and footwear can be found in the first floor area. Furthermore, this is one of the store in Koenji that you absolutely must visit. If you could notice, the clothes here are organized by color and its kind, so you can easily find you are looking for. The second floor is a shopping paradise for me because it is houses the men's clothing section. The whole cost of my vacation to Japan was enough to discourage me from making any further purchases. But if I had a chance, I would definitely shop here. Again, if you wish to visit this place, you must find Koenji Station or Shin Koenji Station. Definitely, you will love it. Our next stop is the place called Harajuku. Harajuku is popularly known as a center of youth and street fashion culture in Tokyo, Japan. It is famous for its colorful and unique street fashion which includes a mix of different styles such as lolita, punk, goth, and cosplay. The Nike Harajuku store also offers a unique customization service called Nike by You, which allows customers to design and personalize their own Nike shoes. Customer can choose from variety of colors, materials, and graphics to create a one-of-a-kind shoes that reflect to their individual styles. If you are a shoe lover, your eyes will pop out because all of the design, color, and kind are all amazing. This pair of white Jordan called my attention. It is really clean looking and amazing, so I immediately asked for my size.
I am really happy to have my first Jordan shoes. Overall, the Nike Harajuku store is a must-visit destination for everyone interested in sports, fashion, and footwear. After a long day, we decided to stop over and have a dinner before we go to our final location. This restaurant is very foreigner friendly and I highly suggest to visit this since the food is really good and the staff is very accommodating due to language barrier. Our last destination is called Team Lab. It is a Tokyo-based art collective that is known for its innovating and immersive digital art installation. Once you go inside, the staff and the place are very organized. They also offer you a free locker to place your belongings and enjoy the tourist attraction. The first room called the Dance of Koi. The movement of the Koi is influenced by presence of people in the water and also other Koi. When the fish collide with other people, it turns to beautiful visual art. This next room called three-dimensional space. When people move through or strike them, the spirit change color like chain reaction and the color resonate out. It is amazing. The color and shape are very overwhelming. The Universe of Flower The artwork is not pre-recorded image that is played back over and over. It is created by a computer program that continuously renders the artwork in real time. As a whole, it is continuously changing and the previous visual state are never replicated. The universe at this moment in time can never be seen again. For me, this is the most beautiful and my favorite to this tourist attraction. The Moss Garden of Resonating Microcosms it looks like an alien egg by its color and shape. In dark, the ovoid shines by itself. When an ovoid is pushed by a person or blown by air, it shines bright and emit a sound tone as it writes itself. Okay, don't okay. touch. And the urinary prayer, prayer, ah. Okay. Okay, and the egozin is here.
This last room is called Floating Flower Garden. The flower in this artwork are orchids. Most of orchids are able to grow without soil by absorbing water from the air. The flower in this artwork are alive, growing and blooming with each passing day. It could be said that they are growing in mid-air. finish the attraction inside. But outside of the building, you will see a pillar of fire and it's really beautiful especially at night time. The quality of the image used to this piece of art is exceptional. That my camera can simply cannot capture it. This tourist attraction known for its cutting-edge approach to digital art and its ability to create immersive and interactive experience. Up next on First Wonder. Hi, I hope you like this video. Please help us grow our channel by giving likes and subscribe if you haven't yet. We are more than happy to acknowledge your comments, suggestions, and collaboration about where to travel next. Also, kindly follow me on my social media for future content and updates. I hope this video helped you to have a greater insight about this place. I am wishing you an amazing first wonder. Till next time.